Hello, welcome to this TTK tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use TTK from your own code, in particular from your own pure C++ code, without using VTK. TTK and VTK work very well together, and this combination will make your life much easier. However, you may have very good reasons not to use VTK. If so, don't worry, you will still be able to use TTK. TTK has been specifically designed such that you can use it without having to pull the entire list of VTK dependencies. So here, I will assume that you downloaded and decompressed the TTK source code and data tarballs to uh, the TTK directory here. And of course, that you successfully installed TTK. All right. So we'll go to the source directory here. And for the purpose of this uh, video tutorial, I already created a directory called my program here. All right. So in order to compile our C++ only program, we'll need to uh, create a CMIC list file first. And for this, we'll copy one of uh, the TTK collection. In particular, we'll use uh, this one, cmd, cmic list here. And this one has been specifically designed uh, not to use VTK. So we'll open this guy here. And here we'll call this uh, my program. We'll put this at the bottom too. All right. And what we're going to do here is the program that reads a uh, triangulated surface in the input, does some TTK processing, in particular some smoothing, and writes uh, the output to disk. Okay, so we will use for this uh, the TTK component uh, called Scalafield Smoother, and we'll implement all this in this file called main.cpp. So now we'll save and uh, we'll quit. So here I already uh, created a uh, main.cpp file that just contains uh, some functions uh, to load and save the triangulated surfaces. So this is one of the uh, uh, things if you don't use uh, VTK, uh, you will have to um, provide somehow your own uh, IO, your own uh, feed functions to load and save data. So here the data that we consider in the input is a triangulated surface represented with uh, an OFF file. So OFF files are very standard to represent uh, triangulated surfaces. These are plain ASCII files that are easy to read and easy to save. They're basically just the list of XYZ coordinates of all the points and then the list of vertex identifiers for the triangles. Okay, so I already implemented that. So here you see uh, that we uh, basically have an input stream, and we uh, just read the number of vertices, number of triangles, we allocate the memory, and we simply read uh, the file and we save, uh, save it into this buffer for the points, and into this buffer for the triangles, and that's pretty much it. And now if we want to save uh, a file, we'll just create uh, an output stream, and we'll put uh, the number of vertices, number of triangles, and we'll just output the XYZ coordinates like we did here, and the uh, triangles like I did here. Okay, so now we'll use uh, TDK out of this. So first, we will uh, um, include some header. In particular here, we're going to uh, smooth the actual geometry of the object. And as a matter of fact, uh, in TTK, to smooth the geometry of an object or to smooth the scalar field, this is actually the same code. Um, this is implemented in the scalar field smoother class. Okay. So now we'll go to the bottom and we'll create uh, the main function, which is uh, required to compile. There we go. So first, uh, since we want to use uh, C++ only, we'll use, prim we'll use primitive types to store uh, the geometry. And in particular, we'll make use of the uh, standard uh, containers of the STL for this. Like this. So here we'll store uh, the points, and here we'll store 
vertex, I need two flyers uh, for the triangles. Alright, so now we'll go call the function on this object that I prepared beforehand. Uh, it's called input on effect. And then triangle set. There we go. So now that we uh, read this data, we'll fit uh, this into the TTK triangulation data structure. And here I would recommend to go to the TTK website, to go to the uh, documentation page, and to check out the uh, developer documentation, which is a uh, Doxygen, um, which is generated by Doxygen. Here you click on modules, and then base code, and here you have the list of all the pure C++ uh, TTK classes. And in particular, you'll have some documentation about our triangulation data structure, which is um, a data structure that we implemented for efficient mesh traversal. All right, so let's go back to our example. So here we take our triangulation object, and we uh, will set the input 3D points on it. And we get point set size, and we divide by 3 because point set has x, y, z uh, components, so three components per vertices, so uh, the point set, point set vector is three times bigger than the number of vertices. So here we'll just tell it that the number of vertices is this size divided by three, and then we'll give a pointer to uh, the actual data. So here, this is a very important uh, design principle of TDK, is that here you'll see that I uh, pass an actual pointer to the buffer of the vector. So um, TTK never does any copy of data. It only uses pointers uh, to uh, buffers of primitive types, such as float, ints, and all that. Everything that you can do with the standard template library, uh, you can do with TTK. All right. So here we just put pointers to it, so there is no uh, data copy. And then we do the same thing for um, the actual mesh, set input cells, this triangle set the size divided by 4, and then triangle set data. There we go. Okay, so now uh, the triangulation is set. So here we divide by 4 because for each triangle there's three vertex identifiers plus uh, an integer that um, that describes the number of vertices in the cell. Okay, so now we'll call our uh, TTK um, component, skeletal smoother, that actually smooths the geometry. And uh, we'll set up uh, the triangulation like this. And the effect of this is that the object T will be used as a mesh for uh, the smoother object. And plus, the setup function will actually precondition uh, the triangulation object uh, for its required uh, traversals. So now, we'll, say, uh, we'll set the dimension, dimension number of the data. So in particular, we want to smooth both x, y, and z. So uh, there's three fields that we want to uh, smooth. This is what we put on dimension number to three. And then we uh, provide put data pointer. We provide a pointer uh, to the buffer where the actual x, y, z data is located. That would be the input pointer. And next, we'll provide a pointer to the output. As a matter of fact, we'll write the output in the same buffer here. And now we'll call uh, the smooth function. And here we'll do a hundred iterations, let's say. So what is important here is that uh, the core functions of TTK are templatized. So you'll notice here uh, that I need to indicate uh, the type of the data that I want to smooth. And here the type is float, like this. Okay. So now this is done, and we can save this to disk with the function save that I implemented earlier above. And 
to pass on um, the actual uh, print set vector and the triangle set uh, vector. And here, since uh, we modify the data directly printed by those pointers, um, basically this will have uh, as an effect the vector here will now uh, point to a buffer that is smooth. Okay, and that is pretty much it. So I recommend uh, to go to uh, the Docsygen documentation to learn more about the features of TTK, uh, especially here uh, if we look at this color field uh, smoother, you will have more information about the different functions uh, that are available with this uh, class. And if you go uh, higher, you will have the entire list of classes that are available in TTK. Okay. All right, so now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, compile our code. So we'll close this. We'll create a build directory. We'll go in there. We'll call it Cynic. And we'll build. Okay, and now I will run my program like this, and there we go. And here you see uh, that TDK has been launched, uh, the data has been read, and has, it has been smoothed, and uh, you have an output file that is called output of that you can load with any software that knows how to read OFF, uh, triangulated surfaces. But again, as I explained, it's very easy, number of vertices, number of triangles, and then the XYZ coordinates of each vertex, and then uh, the vertex identifiers of each triangle. Okay. So here, again, um, in this tutorial, I showed you how to use TTK directly in C++ without using VTK. And as you can see, this is fairly easy. You just need to set up uh, some uh, pointers to the triangulation data structure and then call the TTK object that you want to use to uh, set up the triangulation on it and then call uh, the required functions. And that's pretty much it. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.